consultation I can't believe you believed in the apple mango conspiracy theory. What the heck, her friend, Lee Silva, who says so with her mouth covered. When Shin Hevru glared at her with an uneven look, she finally smiled and lowered her hand. He, in kidding, don't get angry, I'm serious. Oh my, are you upset, Harrow? What should I do, Silva, who kept making fun of her with a smile? Returned to her usual expression and spoke up after coughing. He, well, it certainly sounds weird. He did terrorism, but also a villain who doesn't want people to die, Silva who was lost in thought for a moment, twisted her sky-blue hair slightly with her hands and continued, It's just possible, isn't it? It's kind of like an entertainer, the kind of person who enjoys getting people's attention. I guess so, yet how can I say that? After choosing a horse for a moment, she clapped her hands and said you can say has a villain who wants to terrorize but doesn't want to kill civilians, from the fact that he contacted me to save the people who were killed in the terrorist attacks he committed. Silva, who said so, crossed her arms and nodded as if it was a solution to her worries. Then she drinks green tea again to relieve her thirst. Shin Harrow, who had only listened to it quietly, immediately opened his mouth and asked, So you think he's harmless? Who? Oh. To say that he's harmless first of all. He destroyed buildings and airplanes. He's a villain. Just a villain who doesn't like civilians dying. Can I say he's harmless? Better than the villains trying to kill all civilians. And when I see the hacking skills and the money you're throwing at me this time, I'm sure there's something going on. But I'm relieved to hear you. It would have been more terrible if you had that much ability and tried to kill people. Siola took a sip of tea again, looking at Harrow, who was still looking worried. She said with a smile again, Did you ask for this Anis advice because you were worried about that? You were wondering if he was a villain or not, was Ani? No, well, there's something I've been thinking there's nothing to think about. There are villains like this and that in the world. There are villains who try to kill five people and juggle them. But there might be villains who don't like to kill. You don't have to worry about it. In the future, the terror he causes will only cause civilian damage to the extent that you can prevent it. Killing villains well. It's a private sanction. But it's not about killing civilians. Seeing Silva talking as if she was worried about something. It would be better if she didn't kill someone with terror. Haro has a strange feeling. Yes, if she thinks about it in common sense. Silva is right. A villain who wants to cause terrorism without civilian casualties. Egostic. It's a matter of ending if you define him like that. The reason for terrorism is to be seen as simply for pleasure like any other villain. Maybe that's the normal interpretation of the Egostic. But she still had some doubts. She can't explain it in words. But intuition felt strongly in her. The idea that it is not just his own pursuit of pleasure that causes terrorism, but that there may be other reasons. Looking at the way he was terrorizing, there was something he was aiming for rather than simply enjoying terrorism. The idea that with some other intention, something is intended and is likely to be causing terrorism. What is that? All her thoughts are still dismissed as delusions because she doesn't know them. Looking at Harrow's face in agony again, Silva laughed. No. It's a day. I thought it would be a big problem if you called me here. Called me here. Was it about a villain? What if he's such a workaholic? She shakes her head in such a way, Harrow. Were people too? When I'm not working, I'll empty my head and rest, right? If you're a college student, you can go to events. So can you make friends? I have a friend. Oh, the senior you mentioned. That's not a friend. She's an older sister. Anyway, let's rest when we rest. So would you ever date a guy? You've never dated a man either. Silva's face turned slightly red at Shin Harris' words, who hit her bone while listening quietly. No, I control my privacy at the group level. Me too. If it wasn't for surveillance. Yes, yes, all right, Silva, who was grinning at Shin Harris' words, who soon smiled at her too, as the story of Agostic moved on. They began to talk about how they were doing. What Lee Silva brought up is her recent worries. Sigh, it's very stressful that every move I make goes to the press, goes to the... Lee Silva, her friend. She has ice power, and a plus hero in charge of Buzan. At the same time, 
She is also the daughter of the chairman of Yusum Enterprise, one of the largest Korean companies. She is often said to be a third generation Shable. No, hero work is fun for me, and it's good to have a positive impact on the company. But why is everyone so interested in what I'm wearing? She sighed, reaching for the table. Haru could only say, it must be hard, to her. Unlike Stardust, X, who thoroughly hides her identity by actions such as being impaired, Isikal did not hide her identity. Even before she was called Isikal for awakening her ability in the first place, she was already a well-known figure by the name of Lee Silva, the third generation. So, she did not hide her identity from her, just like the name of Lee Silva, and even when she was a hero, she went barefaced without doing anything such as interfering with her perception. Well, I haven't interfered as hard as I did since I started this. So that's good, honestly. It's because I think I have a positive influence on our company's image. You're living a hard life, too. Yeah, I'm glad Busan has fewer terror attacks than the metropolitan area. If there were a lot like you, Woli Silva, who said so far, took out her cell phone with her tongue sticking out, she read an article. She crumpled her face, one day, wondering about this, asked her, what's wrong? No, we're rebels. There's a crazy guy named Kim Sun-woo, who was one of the technical advisors, and has been released. He did some illegal experiments and got caught. How'd he get out of here? He must have been doing things in the lobby again. Kim Sun-woo-poo, nothing's going well these days. Seolga put her cell phone back on the desk with a chuckle, and so they kept talking. Time flew by, and it became a deep night, rain on the outside. Shall we go now? Yes, that's how the two decided to break up here. Outside the cave, bodyguards in sunglasses and suits stood in front of the cave. Miss, get in. Oh, Harold, do you want a ride? It's raining. No, I'm going to take a walk. You go first. Really? Okay, do you have an umbrella? Mister, give me an umbrella. Haru received an umbrella from the people in the suit in front of her and thanked them. Haru, I'm leaving. If you have another concern, call me right away. Okay. Yes. Go home safely. So she saw her friend off in a black limousine. Soon the car was out of sight, and she began to move toward the house. Raindrops were hitting the umbrella she went on, relying on an umbrella, on the night streets where only raindrops could be heard. It was nice to meet a friend after a long time. Silva was the only friend with whom she could talk openly. Walking slowly, she looked up at the sky, the dark sky, as it's almost dawn, looking at the sky where only the moon was floating alone. She was lost in thought again. In the end, Silva also advised her not to pay particular attention to that egoistic guy. It's just a villain who doesn't want to hurt people, nothing more. But Haru still cared. Silda feels like she's missing something. Her gut feeling has been doing something big. And I don't think he's as bad as I thought. Unfounded and ridiculous and yet the thoughts that keep ringing in her head. So Stardust was trying to penetrate quite a bit of the essence of ego stick with her super sense without herself realizing, of course, course, as she doesn't know his true self. Now she just feels uncomfortable so she wants to stay alert in him. Hey looking at the dark night sky. She just sighed. She just feels upset about Egostic. She's sure Egostic is lying down while having his stomach full. Cough, cough. Ah, uh -huh. What's wrong with you? Don't you need to see a doctor? Let's go to the hospital, Sylvan. How can I go to the cough hospital? It'll be all right in a little while. Why? Cough. You're spilling a bucket of blood. What's all right, Darian? You can't die, Sub. In a large mansion deep in the mountains he was now vomiting a bucket of blood while lying down. The sight of people swarming in the mansion, surrounding me and worrying, at that door. I can see Hagel looking at me with a pale face. Damn it, did I work too much on that bridge? Gough, my blood is coming out again. It's so unfair. How much did I use to do this? I'm such a sucker. I blew up the bridge and fainted as soon as I got home and woke up three days later. As soon as I woke up, I vomit a bucket of blood. I feel like dying. Will one day Stardust find out that I'm working hard for her and fly over here? No, she won't come, maybe. Oh, my cough. Cough. Ahan Siu Hyun. Stop screaming. Screaming.